Welcome in YouTubers. Today I'm going to work on this little Briggs & Stratton generator that I had given to me. Uh, someone took the carburetor off. The carburetor was sitting outside. So I'm going to try to clean the carburetor up. Hopefully it will work. If not, then I'll have to buy a new one. So Yeah, let's get to work on it. Got the carburetor over here. I'm going to switch this camera around. Hey, welcome back, YouTubers. All right, so I got the carb right here. We're gonna uh, take it apart and see what it looks like. First thing you gotta do is uh, take the nut off the bowl. See a Phillips screwdriver on this one, or a t I think it's like a 10 millimeter. Once you get that off, you're gonna see you see even here, a little rust all on the nut. You got a little washer right here. So you want to make sure that's in good shape so it don't leak. And the bowl got a little corrosion in there. Float moves, so that's good. So what we're going to do, we're going to pull this pin. We have a jet here and we have another jet your uh, jet inside there. Take those out. Okay, let me get some tools. Oh, that, that needle, that float pin seems to be stuck. I don't want to uh, pull on it too hard. We'll spray some uh, you know, some WD-40 or something in there. There's also your, your uh, gas shutoff seat needle is, I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's right in there. It's hooked to the float. And you can see it is going up and down. So if worse comes to worse, I'll leave that pin in and just clean up around there and hope that it seats. But uh, I'm going to spray that pin a little bit and do uh, these jets and then come back to that. And always put a pan under you or uh, some kind of catch-all to catch all the uh, gas and whatever you use to clean the carburetor. I like to use a carburetor cleaner right here. And I'm ready to spray all the uh, jets out. I'm going to let that soak for a little bit. See if I can get these jets out. came out. There should be one in here. Okay, that seemed like it came loose. Okay, that one's out. You want to make sure the holes on these jets are clear. What I like to use is a torch tip cleaning uh, tool. But you don't want to get something too big. You want something that's going to fit in there. Let's work it back and forth. Make sure that hole is cleaned out. After you do that, spray some carburetor cleaner in there. As you can see, it's coming out. That one's good. Put that in a corner. 
and then get to the next one. Do the same thing. And also on this one, you have little holes on the side. I want to make sure they're clean. I'm going to spin it and then you're going to have some more. Same thing, spray, carburetor right clean in it. On this one, you see it, see all that green on that uh, jet? Let this focus. I take a little uh, red Scotch Brite and uh, clean that off. Dip a little bit in the uh, carburetor right cleaner. It's a lot better. Let's take more of the carburetor cleaner and just all the dust. That went to the side. So them two already go back in. I'll give another shot of lubricant on this. Low air. Try again. Okay, it's starting to work. It's starting to work free. Getting to move it. Okay, I got someone at the door. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. With my wife, she's going to the bank, hopefully to get me some money. Okay, where were we? I'm trying to get this pin out. I don't know if you can see, it did actually move a little bit. So I'm spraying out. There we go. Got it out. Cool. Sometimes they can get uh, corroded in there pretty good. So after you get that out, you want to pull the float straight up. And you're going to see there's the uh, little needle seat that shuts your gas off. So what happens is when it runs, the float goes down, which would be this way. The float goes down and burns the gas in the bowl, and then that opens up that jet, that little needle seat, and it will fill back up with gas, and then go up and shut back off. So a lot of times when you see these carburetors pouring gas out of the bottom or, or you know, through the throat of the carburetor, a lot of times this uh, float is sticking, it's not shutting off, so that's what that does. So we'll take that off. And then we're going to, this one has a little spring on it, and that clips right on this little tab right there. Some of them don't have a spring, they just clip in there, but this one has a spring. Set them aside. And also you want to give this a sh like a shake, make sure there's no fuel in it. You can... Uh, Set it in like a little bucket of water, make sure it floats, make sure it don't fill up. Because if it has a hole in it, it will fill up with fuel and it will make it heavy and the, uh, the float won't go up to shut the fuel off. Now we got that out. 
I spray uh, some carburetor cleaner through all these jets. Carver a nice spray, clean up all the dirt, grime off it. Make sure you wear rubber gloves, you don't want to get this stuff all over your hands. Uh, my father did it for years, you know, before the rubber gloves came out. But uh, nowadays, you don't know what they put in some of this stuff. and. It's probably better than it was before. You should wear gloves. Okay, got that done. And you can see right in here that it's all corroded. I'm going to just try to take this uh, Scotch Brite and clean what I can off. You're not going to get it perfect. You could also put it in like some gasoline or some kind of cleaner and let it soak overnight. But I'm just going to see how it works this way. You can take a little compressed air too. Sometimes I do if it's really bad and clean it all off. But this one's not too bad. So let's just take a paper towel and dry it off. Sometimes when you spray in these things with compressed air, you might miss a little seat or there might be a little screen somewhere and you'll blow it out and you'll never be able to find it. Now we're here to the, to the bowl. Same thing, it's all corroded. So I'm going to take this car ready to clean and spray it in there. The same scotch bright, And then work it around. There you go, it's a lot better. It's pitted down there, but that should be fine. Cut all the loose stuff out of there. Okay. So, after that, get a clean piece of paper towel, and I like to set everything that I cleaned. on the paper towel. Okay, so now we got to put it back together. So you know, same way you took it apart. Just goes back together. Take the high speed jet. Get a little snug, don't go crazy. What I'll probably do once I put the uh, put it back together and put a little gas in, I'll probably put a little sea foam in it. 
you can run a, run a tank through it, a little sea foam, and that helps clean it, clean it out. Okay. You want to take your little, uh, check your seat on your needle. Rubber. Some of them are mostly they're rubber now. They used to be, uh, I think, brass. It looks pretty good. I'm going to clip that back on to your float. Like so. See it hanging off. I'm going to slide it back on the carburetor. Get it back in the, uh, the hole, and then you want to slide your pin back in. Getting a little stubborn where I grabbed it with the pliers. Take it with pliers again and just do a little twist to get it back in. There it goes. Our needle nose might be a little better. Make sure it's sticking out on both ends. So like I said before, when the carburetor sits like that and your float is down, it fills up with gas in that bowl in the bowl, all the way up, shut off. As the engine is running, it burns the fuel and it will go back down. And then it will let more in and fill back up. Okay, so we got all that back on. You want to make sure your rubber O-ring is nice all the way around. And then you want to slide the bowl back on. Your nut back on with your washer. I'm going to get a wrench to snug that up. Ten millimeter wrench. Just give it a nice snug. You don't have to go crazy with this either. And this screw right here is actually a bowl drain, which is a good idea if you don't use... This is a generator, you're not going to use it that much. Well, I'm not. So what I would do, I would shut the fuel off. And then you loosen up this screw. And that would drain the bowl. So it, the gas and fuel don't sit in there. Okay. I'm going to shut the camera off for a minute. I'm going to get the carburetor back on the uh, generator and... Let's see if it will run. Boneyard, out. Okay, so I have the uh, carburetor back on. Didn't put the air filter back on yet, but uh, I'll do that later. It starts. Put gas in it. Fuel is on. Give it a choke. Let's see what happens. Should probably put the uh, switch on.
does run is surging a little bit. Uh, the generator pot works. You've seen the light go on. I'm going to try to fine tune this carburetor a little bit, put the air filter back on. That might help. And uh, go from there. So, uh, thanks for tuning in there, YouTubers. Hope this helps out how to clean the carburetor. Uh, I will uh, figure out why it's surging and uh, I will get back to you on that. So, uh, hope this helps out. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe, thumbs up. And uh, have a good day. I also will change the oil and everything in it too. Spark plug. So, have a good day. Boneyard, out. I got it running good, not surging. Adjusted the carburetor a little bit, put the air filter on. Uh, seems to be running good. So I'm going to get clean it all up, uh, give it a good service as far as uh, oil change, new spark plug. I already put a new air filter in it. And that's it. Hope you like my videos, guys. Have a good night.